Hey there, welcome back to Pro Wrenching. Today I'm going to replace the water pump impeller and housing on my Mercruiser Alpha 1 Gen 1 stern drive. I've got the stern drive pulled out of the boat. I've got it here sitting on the table and I've already taken out the old water pump and impeller and I've got it laid right over here, right here on the counter and uh, I've got the old gaskets, the lower portion, the upper portion with the impeller in it and um, what I found when I took it apart is that it had been run um, without, uh, without water hooked up to the motor, without the hose. So it had been previously got hot. It also um, had some damage here where it had some melting in here. And uh, on this water pump impeller, um, you can see where it's, it's old and it needs to be, needs to be replaced and it had got some some heat in there and, and started to get a little bit melted from running there so y'all want to remember when you're when you're test driving these even for a little bit um starting it up you need to make sure to hook up that, that water hose what i've got here is i've got the old parts pulled out and um, i've got my new parts here um i ordered that in i'm going to put a, a link to the in the description of where i got this part but it's, it's quicksilver parts it's the the lower unit and then the uppercase with the impeller. And uh, when, you're, when you're taking this apart, um, you always wanna make sure that you're, that you're putting it back together in the same order. As you can see, I've got the gaskets laid out and the impeller, how, how it came apart. And then so now we're gonna go ahead and, and get it put back together. Um, I've already cleaned up the old gasket surfaces and got it ready for the install. Okay, we're gonna put our first gasket gonna get it installed and we're gonna put it over the studs and slide it down into position you want to make sure this hole lines up with that hole and then we've got that up over there um, now here's my uh, my new lower base for the water pump it's got an o-ring that I've already installed on here and then I put a little grease in there to help with the assembly and also on the inner seal put a little grease in there and that'll help keep things lubricated up um, upon the first startup. So we're gonna slide that down into the position. Okay. And now our next gasket. Gonna put on right here. And then we're gonna put our, our metal plate on. As you can see, you want this little divot to go down towards the bottom. I've got the old one here for reference. As you can see, the shiny area is where that impeller has been running. So we want that part, the divot, to the bottom, just like, just like that. And then, um, let's see. Now, our next gasket. Right there, like that. And then we have our key. And what you can do to help hold this in position is take a little bit of grease, dab it on the back, and then just put it right there. That'll just kind of help hold it up. And then to get everything to go where we need it to, we're gonna put a little grease here on the shaft. And uh, Next, I've got the, the upper part of the water pump housing, and I've already pre-installed the water pump impeller. And when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that the vanes are, are facing the right direction. Um, as you can see on, on the old the unit, we had it facing like that. So we wanna make sure that we have it the same direction. And we're gonna put that on, but it's a little bit 
a little bit tricky because you got to line this up on the on the key. You've got a little slot here, and we've got our key right here. So we're gonna slide this down. I've, I've got it lined up pretty close, but we might have to move it around just a little bit and twist the shaft to get it to to line up. There we go. Let me just move that. Slide that down. Now our kit did come with a new new screw. So we'll put that new screw in there. And then we've got our nuts and washers. Get on there. So slide that down. Get that into position. And then next we've got an O-ring. Got a new O-ring in the kit. All right, with O-rings, y'all want to. Double check them, make sure. We also have a small little port here that has an O-ring. And this is important, you wanna put a new one of those in there. This is what seals the oil in the unit between the upper part of the case and the lower part of the case. So we're gonna put a, a new one of those in there. Clean it up a little bit. All right. That's good. Now we're we're ready to get this installed on the boat. We got a new a new water pump and with the uppercase and the lowercase. And again, we had to go ahead and change all that because it had some of the damage where it had been run without any water and it got hot and melted. If both your cases are good, you could get by with just some new gaskets and an impeller. But on this one, I wanted to go ahead and just get it all changed out so it's brand new. And uh, 
So now we're ready to uh, get it installed back in the boat and then test it out. Okay, I'm using a lifting strap to help me hold it and kind of get this cinched up into position. Um, I've got my water pump tube into position and I've got my, my drive shaft. Um, I've got some grease on it to help it up at the top and now I'm just trying to get this cinched up and lined up. I'm making sure that I still have my O-ring in position for the, uh, for the grease seal. In the upper and the lower unit, we're just going to keep going and try to get this put together. So what I did is I got it put together. I used this strap to help me put it up there and into position. And it took some, some moving around. Um, had to get the water pump tube in there. Also the, uh, the shift rod has to go into the right position. And then also the, uh, the drive shaft is splined. So it has to go in in just the right spot in the engine. So that's why you want to leave that in forward gear when you remove it and reinstall it. So you can move the propeller a little bit to get that drive shaft lined up to the right position so it'll, so it'll go into the splines. And now these two uh, nuts on the side, you have to have the lower unit drop down a little bit uh, to be able to get the, the nuts started in there. Uh, so I got it into position. Now we'll see if we can get that started on the other side. Checking forward and reverse, making sure that still works good. Um, we've got all our, our nuts on, got our hidden bolt in there. 
got our plate back on there, and now we need to refill the lower unit with oil. Anyways, if you like this video, please make sure to like, hit the subscribe button, and we got more coming. We'll see you on the next one.